Hello, this is Snipers 7 here with our um, sixth tutorial in our engine series. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be it's going to be a quick tutorial actually. I hope I'm going to be going over uh, input, user input, so basically keyboard input and mouse input for engine. Um, this code's probably the easiest part aspect of our engine. Um, as you know, our engine's made up of uh, one section for sound, one for graphics, one for user input and menus, uh, and like networking. Um, if we get into that, I don't know anything about networking, but yep. So, the first thing we want to do is um, basically how this is going to work is we're going to make a Boolean value called extern bool get key and just an array of 256 and extern another bool called get mouse 256 and we're going to copy that and go into core engine and paste it and declare it here and now in main.cpp we're going to just uh, create a case statement saying uh, case key down. So if the key is down, we're going to set it to true. Get key. And this is w param because, like I went, uh, I was in my previous tutorials, I went through. Uh, stuff like uh, w param l param and I didn't really explain it I said they wouldn't be important now but later and this is where they're important they're basically uh, window messages two types um, they're integers so well I believe they're integers from what I've seen so we're just going to set it to true and the way this function is going to work is we can use a simple if statement and then in w param we'd enter the windows virtual key code which I'll get into right after we uh, finish this section up so we're gonna do case key up so if they release it we're gonna set it to false because it's no longer being held down so we shouldn't have to keep it running and then we're gonna do one for the mouse so L button down so left button down get mouse W prime is true and break and then R button down or to L button up first L button up get mouse W brown equal false break and then we're gonna go over here and just set that to true get mouse W prime equals true. W R button up get mouse W prime W prime equals false break and another break statement here. Break. Okay. So now that that's done, we'll get into the virtual uh, Windows virtual key codes. And basically, um, you can find these. Uh, let's see, the window. You can find these key codes online by just simply typing Windows virtual key codes. And they're all listed here, so you could either type in that or the number. And I didn't really like either of them, so what I did was I used a define line um, to define a name for each key code. So I basically uh, dumbed it down and made it into English. So instead of writing uh, if uh, get key or 
git mouse uh, and then nwprim 0 uh, x01 I could put left button which makes more sense the right button middle have everything so uh, yeah I did that um, if you want this you could just message me send me a message be happy to send it so now we're going to just uh, use our knowledge we just gained and uh, apply it so get key if get key and let's say D so you see I could write D instead of having to write 0x0 or 0x44 just write D a lot more convenient and a lot easier to understand so if I hit D so while I'm holding D down it's going to uh, play our rotated cube and when I let go it's going to disappear because the key down key up function is being used so as you can see there's nothing here as soon as I hit D look at that that cube is rolling so yep so you can see that works and we can use get mouse to test our mouse just to make sure get mouse left button so when I hit the left mouse button it should play the same thing again so again nothing hold the mouse look at it go so yeah um that's about it this tutorial is nice and short sub minutes so this number is 27 again if you would like this input.h um, input.h uh, file with all of these defined values you just send me a message I'll be happy to send you a copy if you have any questions other than that you could send me a message too asking me and uh, yep comment subscribe and uh, yep I'll see you next tutorial